Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to yet another mod review for more kaiju. Yeah, last week we went through five creatures for more kaiju. This week we're gonna go through another five creatures. Some of them you might recognize because they're just straight up copies from another franchise which you can just find out yourself because it's pretty obvious. But uh, without further ado, let's begin starting with this one arachne the skin crawler so sh this all these creatures or i think most of them has a bio that i'm gonna read out to you now one of the older titans arachne was known for creating stunning works of art that often depicted stories of the past among the kaiju so skilled in fact fellow artist athena grew jealous due to both titans prideful nature athena and arachne bear scars from their once frequent battles Arachne's webs are extremely powerful, proven by how they bind together Val's signature weapon without breaking. Despite her introverted and prideful nature, Arachne's talent was respected by Val's, who would defend her from her rival Athena when the Flying Titan attempted to attack her. Arachne was one of the four titans trusted to lead an assault against the spread of the plague. But she and the others were quickly overwhelmed by opposing forces and forced to retreat. However, it was too late. Arachne had been infected and quickly went insane. Perhaps her pride had something to do with her surprisingly quick downfall. Yeah, basically it's just the story of Arachne in uh, Greek mythology with Athena. Anyways, let's take a look at his abilities. So it's not a very fast mount and as you can tell the model is of a brood of the brood mother. But let's spawn some stuff to fight. So left click is a bite attack that deals poison. As you can tell the Rex is has this thing called pawn meal poison. Not sure what pawn meal poison is, but it does poison and this poison stacks. And now you can stack up to well, as fast as you can bite it, I guess. So yeah, as fast as you can bite it, you can stack to that amount. Right click is Pierce, which does, you know, that damage, but it also goes through armor. C is Wet Blast, which... Actually like this, deals little damage, but it will apply the web effect, causing them to move a lot more slowly. Now, uh, left control is a poisonous acid breath attack. This fires projectiles similar to the poison wyvern which explodes and leaves damaging poison clouds behind. Deals a lot of damage if shot uh, if the shot speed. Alright, let me shut you up in a second. This also inflicts the target with acid burn and cocoon flyers. The projectile also has explodes a second time shortly after the first one. So let's try out. Remember, this is the left control. Yep, so it's a slew of uh, poison, which deals a lot of DOT as you can tell from the Rex's HP just rapidly dropping. Now, Alternate R is a summon that spawns a lot of Arachne, uh, or rather it summons a lot of Arachne uh, spawn which are at her level and is limited to 20 maximum, so let's try it out. It just opened my overlay, what the heck. Uh, okay, I'm not sure whether the alternate R works because when I press that my NVIDIA GeForce overlay appears instead so yeah I can't really work on that and the next ability is Shift X which is a, which is a launch attack like so I'll show you one more time on it if it works so yeah it's actually a pretty big jump which I'm gonna show you one more time, but this time I'm gonna jump pretty far away. Like so, let me just... Yeah, so it's a jump that uh, when, upon landing, it will deal damage to anything it lands. And lastly is its raw. Yep, just the brute mother raw. Also, uh, before I go to the next feature, there are some notes on this uh, particular kaiju. It is classified as a boss, so it's immune to all status effect bosses normally are immune to. Minions cannot harvest as you cannot access their inventory. 
one of the hardest non-category 5 kaiju boss to defeat and passively generates webbing in her inventory which can be used to craft her saddle. Like so. And it has a saddle like here, which I didn't know. So to craft a saddle, while well, you don't need her saddle to ride it if I'm not wrong, uh, you need 50 arachne webbings, 25 dead kaiju G cells which you get from killing kaijus, and 15 elements. And you can get her saddle, which um, changes... Wait, hold on a second, what the fuck? Okay, I'm not sure whether it's a bug, but the saddle seems a bit... I don't know, is it supposed to be like that? But that's how it looks like. So yeah, that is the uh, Arachne, the skin crawler. Also, I I, know, I, know, I don't understand why it, the saddle looks like that. Alright, so uh, just to show you, uh, these are Arachne's uh, spawn, which they do spawn. It's just that um, they... Yeah, they do spawn, it's just that they don't... I can't really spawn them on my own accord. But this is how they look like. They look honestly different from the... They look like an ant, more, like, more or less. But they look different from the usual uh, creatures, not the usual spiders in the game. And you can write them for some reason. I think I think the yeah the abilities are the same as a spider, so just you know, write them and just run around. Alright, now on to the next creature. Next creature is this guy, Iro the Great Manticore. This guy has a bio which I'm going to read now. A former leader of one of the Manticores, Iro was a wise titan who despite his younger age compared to similar titans was held in high regards by titans such as Kaitan. Although he was one of the members of the five titan band alongside Kaitan, Baus, Goliath and Horus, Manticore's journey possessed short lifespan compared to other titans and the great Manticore passed away. His successor would lead the Manticores for a short time before the entire species was wiped out by a vengeful Gaia. So let's take a look at his abilities. Well, left click allows it to fly, and it's a decently fast flyer. But definitely faster than the than the Pterodon. So let's spawn something to fly. So for left click, it's a bite attack or a claw attack, both of which uh, just deals the same damage. So the animation is random. Right click is a tail swing, or rather just a tail stab, which deals infected wound. Not sure what infected wound does. Yeah, I'm not sure what infected wound does. It doesn't really sh say, say anything. Uh, it just increases stopper and reduces HP from the looks of it. But it lasts only 3 seconds, so it's not really that impressive. C key is a tail swipe, and it knocks back enemies behind it. So I'm gonna walk in front of this guy and do this. This bleeds, or rather inflicts Kaiju bleed, which seems like it hurts like hell every second. Like every second you just reduce like 26 HP. Uh, I'm not sure whether the 26 HP is like percentage based or a flat amount, so you guys can try out and, you know, put in the comments below. Now, X key is you change the projectile type between red lightning, radiation and fireball. Um, and you use these particular attacks uh, with left control, but let's set to electricity first. For electricity is... As shown here. Which is kind of hard to aim actually, so let me fly away first. So, let's try that again. Uh, left control with lightning is actually red lightning barrage. Which shoots a barrage of lightning projectiles from its tail. Deal decent damage and also inflicts motor's electrocution effect. What the hell was that? Uh, let's try that one more time, but this time let's try to hit the guy. Doesn't seem like I can hit the guy. It's a bit hard to aim as you can tell. It doesn't it aims at a range in front of me. Yeah, there you go, I hit him. So he's electrocuted now with red lightning. Now let's swap to another damage type. Fire. So fire is fireball, which is similar to being hard to aim. So let's try to fly away first. Okay, so the fireball is 
aiming is a bit hard to aim. Like, it's it goes in a curve and the fireball doesn't land, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, as you can tell, it's just like that, you know? So yeah, I can't really show you what I'm actually like. I think I try on hitting this sauropod. Let's try it on this guy. Okay, uh, yeah, the range is pretty shit, but you inflict quite a bad burn. You inflict not only Enflame, but also Burnt. Remember, Enflame, if I remember correctly, deals percentage damage, similar to the Dragon in Ark. Now, let's swap to uh, Radiation and see what it goes. So, Radiation is... Uh, I'll show like this. Oh, it's the it's not the radiation radiation, it's the elemental radiation. Let's see it one more time. It does not inflict any uh, any in particular status effect though. Now, next up is right control, which is a raw. But this raw also summons a smaller version of itself called Zuko. Yeah, Iro and Zuko. I don't know what that refers to. So the raw will summon a smaller version of itself. And a smaller version of itself will summon fire golems. Apparently. From the looks of it. So yeah, this guy is pretty pretty stacked. Where uh it's just, you know, you can summon himself, then himself can summon a bunch of fire golems that will go ape shit. But, obviously, there is also the aesthetic raw if you don't want to summon anything, which is the R key. Which I must do with only- which I only can do when I land. Like so. Apparently it doesn't work. Never mind, okay, the R key doesn't work. And, uh, there are some particular uh, notes for this creature. Classified as a boss, immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. Minions cannot harvest as you cannot access its inventory. One of the higher tier kaiju has a skin which can be crafted for it. This skin does not uh, have any additional benefits. And some particular effects for some reason do not show when the skin is equipped. So let's take a look at what this skin is. They say it has a skin but I have no idea where to get it from. And yeah, that's it for this particular uh, kaiju, Iroh the Manticore. Now up next is probably something that some fans probably seen before called uh, Colossalus which looks like this. I wonder what particular anime is referencing to but let's go through its abilities and also its bio. The bio reads as follows. The largest of Gaia's children, Colossalus was a mighty titan with an armored body and long arms. Like the other children of Gaia, they brutally mocked Vaust, which would eventually result in Vaust leaving their home. Colossalus was later killed by Kaitan and one of his bone used as a handle to Vaust's spear. So yeah, let's take a look at what this uh, guy's abilities are. Uh, first of all, it is relatively slow. You can't really jump, so it's a slow, very slow moving uh, creature. Like, it's real life, not real life, it's anime counterpart. Okay, so left click is a punch or a swipe, which deals that amount of damage, a bit hard to see because of the cloud. Okay, just let me know a bunch more times. And this particular uh, ability covers stone and metal. Right click is a arm smash attack like so which deals uh, more damage like intense amount of damage can't really spam it though and this particular ability damages structures c key is a kick which launches creature below 1000 drag rate into the air and back if even if they're immune to knockback i'm not sure whether this guy is below a thousand drag rate oh there's a oh oh there he goes Okay, first of all, the animation is a bit funny, but there he goes. So yeah, you can even launch a Brontosaur, quite a big creature. Let's see it one more time. As you can tell, when it kicks it, uh, there are some pebbles that will fall, that if it hits something, it will do damage to it. Let's see that one more time. Let's see that. Yep, there we go. As you can tell, it got launched in the air and it's gonna land now. Now, left control is Steam Explosion. It inflicts Steam Blasted on the opponent and also causes Zone Topper to raise by a percentage. 
this cannot be used with a with insufficient stamina. It costs around 800 stamina, and low level individuals may lack enough stamina to actually use it. So let's increase the stamina all the way. Yep. Now let's try out. There you go. Now it's Steam Blasted. Everything around by this particular creature dies and Steam Blasted just rapidly increases the topper by that amount. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is a good idea to use as a taming creature, but probably not. So one more thing to note about the Arm Smash. The smaller the creature or the, low, the lower the drag rate of the creature, the more damage it will do. Because I... Let me try to give you an example. I did 3000 damage to the Dondosaurus just now, but let's try this Piranha here. I missed somehow. Never mind, it doesn't seem to work. I can tell it's quite buggy. I'm not sure what's going on in the creatures. It's quite buggy. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure how how this works. Now, for the last of his abilities is right control, which is a raw. Which is nothing special to be honest. Now, uh, this particular creature does have some, or rather, quite a lot of notes actually. It is classified as a boss, immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. It's immune to Steam Blaster, so if you have one, uh, it will be immune to any other of these Colossalus Steam Blasts. Only uses Steam Blast at below half HP now. Apparently not, because my HP was full. Huge targeting radius, very slow. One of the few kaijus who lack a theme. You sure? It doesn't, you sure it lacks a theme? When hit by a melee attack, it reflects 15% uh, of the damage back and inflicts steam burnt as a status effect. One of the higher tier kaiju and enables special attacks to allow it to use steam blast. An item will be made in the future for Colossalus, which will make tame ones able to lower topper faster to make the steam blast not so annoyingly limiting to use. Not sure whether this has been implemented or not, but Probably not. So yeah, that's it for the Colossalus, a relatively familiar creature, let's be very honest here. And up next is another very familiar face called Beastallion. Um, as you can tell, it's also in the same anime as Colossalus. It's basically the same, almost the same species, I wonder. Huh? So let's, uh, okay, first of all, I've almost forgot, let's read his bio. A mysterious child of Gaia, not much is known about Beastallion outside of the fact that his face was covered in fur and had pupillous eyes. It seems Vals did not mention Beastallion often, so perhaps he did not treat Vals as badly as his other siblings. Beastallion was slain by Kaitan and consumed by the White Death, greatly infuriating his sister Gaia. Yep, that's his, um, that's, that's it. So let's take a look at his abilities. Uh, first of all, the way he walks has a bit of a swagger to him, but if you try to turn it around, it's a bit... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, look at that. Ugh, so weird. And his running, it's better, I guess. But let's take a look at his ability. I'm gonna spawn one big guy here. So, left click is a punch or swipe attack similar to the Colossalus. Right click is a arm smash, which is similar to the Colossus. Again, I'm not sure why the. Oh, but this one is spammable. So yeah, the, the, again, the, the hitbox is a bit weird. C key is uh, a boulder throw that deals high damage but has a cooldown. Doesn't seem like there's a cooldown. X key is to throw rock, which throws a bunch of boulders. It has a small cooldown or longer cooldown to be honest. Let's try that one more time. Doesn't seem to work. Yeah, see if you have multiple instances of damage. Left control is summon minions. It has a big cooldown and some maximum of 12 minions. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Okay, hold on, let me try the right control. 
Okay, right control is the summon minions. Yeah, right control is the summon content is allowed. Okay, they are very loud. So, the wiki is kind of lying. Oh my god, they're fucking loud. The wiki is kind of lying. Right control is to summon minions. Left control is a raw light roll. And right control summons these, again, very familiar color scheme minions, but has very disgusting faces. Also, they are really, really loud. So, let's get away from those uh, loud motherfuckers. So, for the Bistallion, it has a few nodes which I'm gonna... Holy shit, shut the fuck up! God damn! So, the Bistallion uh, does have some uh, nodes. It is classified as a boss and is immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. As a unique taming method, it's tame, you tame it by taming its larger minions and using its minions left mouse button to knock it out. It's weaker than the Colossus by a large margin. And yeah, that's it for this guy. Now, up next is the last boss creature for today because I'm going to go through five of them today uh, and I'll be back with five more next week. But for today, this will be the last one, which I'm going to spawn now. I don't, I forgot to spawn him. It's uh this guy. Holy shit, what, what is wrong with you? Yep, it is this guy, Behemoth, the legendary boss of the Monster Island. Let's see okay wait, what the heck that's a, he has a saddle apparently here we go that's his saddle behemoth battle armor fierce looking armor once belonging to the ice titan however it seems to fit behemoth as well it requires 75 dead kaiju cells 50 elements 400 metal ingot not that much and 25 stone relatively cheap but once you wear it you it looks like this and you can ride it so let's Let's read his um what's the thing called? Let's read his bio first. One of the legendary gods among kaijus, the youngest of the gods, hot-headed and short-tempered, Behemoth was created by the god serpent with the sole purpose of fighting his sister Okeanos. And the two were physically or psychic psychically psychically what the fuck is that word? Linked to fly into a bloodlust state when near each other and to always be drawn towards each other as a result, much to the frustration and concern of their siblings. While Okeanos would prefer not to fight and sit at the bottom of the ocean doing her own things, Behemoth straight up enjoy combat, always looking for the strongest opponent he could challenge. His odd sense of honor coupled with his disturbing bloodlust made it even the former genocidal white death Kaitan disgusted. Speaking of which, before the first Titan War, Behemoth challenged Kaitan to a duel, a fight between the two gods of destruction. Despite Behemoth's overwhelmingly physical size and advantage, through those skill alone, Kaitan bested his younger brother, but the two entered an uncontrollable rage state, resulting in Behemoth breaking one of the gods' vow to hold back in combat and charge up an attack powerful enough to destroy planets. Kaitan barely held back this attack, preventing the destruction of this world, but before Behemoth could take advantage against a weakened Kaitan, Kaijin stepped in and quickly defeated Behemoth. This left Behemoth bitter over his loss against Kaitan, whom he perceived as an inferior god, and his reckless attack also traumatized Kaitan for many ions to come. During the first Titan war, Behemoth used his overwhelming strength against the enormous god serpent but was usually swatted aside with ease. After the first Titan war, at some point, Okeanos finally defeated her younger brother, sealing Bohemoth into the Earth's crust for hundreds of millions of years. Old story passed down amongst the kaiju speak of clashes between Bohemoth and Okeanos being so fierce, the planet shook and changed from their power. So yeah, quite a mouthful, but let's take a look at his um, abilities. So first thing is, hold on. So first thing is his left click attack which is a hit swipe that hits twice and also inflicts gnashed apparently. So
So, uh, for his right click is a double arm smash, which does a fuck ton of damage and inflicts brutal stun and brutally crushed. And for the sense of brutally crushed, he actually downs the creature. What the heck? Oh, oh okay, that's really interesting. So brutally crushed actually inflicts like a down on the creature, like so. Like it's now on the floor and it can't do anything. C key is one arm smash, which also in throws out these stones that, if I'm not wrong, will actually damage creatures too. So let's see that one more time without a target. But oh, then X key is claw sweep, which is a more far range attack, like so. It inflicts bleed. But it doesn't seem like it takes me. That or I have a theory. X key is actually the one arm smash. Because it, it feels like a one arm smash. Then C key is the claw swipe. And it does bleeding. So yeah, again the wiki is uh lying again. Where C key is actually the claw sweep and X key is the one arm smash. Left control is Fire Breath Barrage. It's a breeze, a stream of fire, and has a cooldown. The fire will not directly do damage, too much damage, but will catch the ground ablaze in fire. Deals damage to things near the flame and inflict them with burn. And the direct hits are explosive. So let's try that out. Yeah, that's it's just a wall of flame that it leaves. Right control is Lightning Horn. It leaps and roars with lightning reading around its horns. As a cooldown and also will shoot 3 to 4 lightning projectiles. These home in on enemies but have high dip so they will quickly fall to the ground. A more close range attack deal high damage, huge damage, start plus stun on direct impact and still decent damage and electrocution on non-direct hits and has a cooldown. Again, these are all the notes that it gives. It's not really in proper English, I'm so sorry about that. But let's try out his uh, Lightning Horn attack. Which is, um, right control. Okay, I, that, that was cool, but I'm not, I don't, I don't see anything. Okay, let's try that after I hit this guy. Maybe the, the AI will then recognize. Okay, there you go. So yeah, it does... It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool attack. And it deals decent amount of damage. Now, Q is Meteor Summon. As a huge cooldown, causes an explosion around its horn before it leaps in, uh, before leaping into the air and summon a huge meteor. Falls in the direction it's headed, is aimed when mounted, cannot be used by AI. Meteor inflicts stun when impacted, huge damage, AoE damage inflicts burn and still does heavy damage and has a cooldown. I'm gonna show it to you now. Wrong, wrong key. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna show it to you now. Okay, that was pretty. That's pretty cool. Let's let's see that again from another angle. How about that? Let's see that again from another angle. Let's turn here. Let's see that again from another angle. Oh, never mind. There's there's that um meteor right. That's slowly dropping. Wow. Okay. That was pretty cool. It still doesn't do as much damage as I thought, but that was pretty fucking. That was pretty cool. Stop exploding, Jesus Christ. So yeah, let's see that from again from another angle. Let's try that one more time. Okay, let, okay, let's see that one more time. And in the sky, is there a meteorite coming down? Yep, there's the meteorite. Slowly but surely coming down. 
So we'll just wreak havoc, I guess. Alright! Pretty cool. And I think it explodes the second time, right? There you go. Now, Oki is a back leg storm or tail sweep with root motion. These uh, are damage structures with decent damage, like so. So yeah, it just deals like uh, damage on its on anyone's leg, and sometimes they tail sweep too. Okay, so under okay, I think I understand how this works. So if you're so if you're looking. Okay, that might is random, so it's kind of hard to control on when you're gonna when you want to turn around or not. So it's just random that you might sweep or you might just you know do a back leg storm. Alternate raw is apparently station uh a oh sorry, alternate R is apparently a raw, but I can't really do that because again, alternate R owns my overlay, so I'm sorry that I can't do that. And the thing about this creature is that your camera doesn't. Turn it. You must either walk to turn it, or you press A and D to make it turn like so. And I am going to read off some of the notes that it has. Classified as a boss monster, immune to all status effect bosses are normally immune to. Immune to burn, terrified, fear, and ice. It's also immune to Gojiran's special attack. Insulates the rider and allies, but not as well as Horus, but also not as bad as Horus with overheating. Has his own saddle, which I'm wearing right now. A very high jump, no fall damage. Will jump around to fight when an AI. One of the higher tier kaiju, and it has a unique taming method where you lower its HP below 25% in order to be able to trank tame him. So this guy's a trank tame, which kind of sucks to be honest. And yeah, that's it for the Behemoth. And that's also it for this mod showcase. I'll be back next week with uh, more of this particular mod showcase because at this point it's quite a kind of like an Easter egg of like, oh, okay, this is from this game, this is from that game. You can clearly see which Kaiju is an inspiration from which game. So yeah, it's kind of fun for me to, to like, oh, realize like, oh, this is from here, this is from there. But anyway. Th that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see all of you in the next video or stream. Bye! Come jump to say bye. Yep, imagine that coming at your face. Bye!